Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Rube Crystal Set 02. This has four new crystals from Ultraman Rube. We have Ultraman Leo, Ultraman X, and then the Kaiju Red King and Ga Gorgon. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, very neat. Always fun to get more crystals. Um, you guys by now probably know my disappointment with the level of functionality with these crystals, but I keep buying them, go figure. But X is going to be one that should give us a couple extra sounds because that's going to have functionality with the Rube Sluggers, which we'll take a look at in a bit. So very colorful packaging, very nice. Taking a look at the back, which shows you how you can do the Rosso and Blue form with all of the crystals. And then it also does tell you to put the X one in the Rube Sluggers. So let's go ahead, we'll get these guys out of the packaging here so we can take a closer look. So here are the four crystals out of the packaging. We'll take a close look at each one. Here is Ultraman Leo. Looks pretty good. And of course you can flip out these pieces on the back. There is the Rosso configuration. And the blue configuration. And we'll see all of those as I try them out in the Rube Gyro. Here is Ultraman X, love the green. I think this one looks especially excellent. Very, very cool. This one looks really cool too, Ga Gorgon. Is a really nice uh, blue color, which I think looks really cool with the black. Kind of a cyan, like that a lot. Whoops, and I'm dropping them. And then here is Red King. Shockingly, his things are not red. That feels like a missed opportunity, but the orange is pretty cool as well. And I do like his design there. I think that's really fun. So let's go ahead and try these out in the Rube Gyro. I'm going to start with the Kaiju first this time, because why the heck not? So first we'll do the Rosso configuration. So you get some kind of decent roar sounds there after it says the name of the monster. Just the same roar sounds there. Now, he's not going to have different sounds for the blue configuration, but just to prove the point. So there you go. With the kaiju, it just says the name of the monster, and then it has the roar sound associated with it. I will say that the colors match. Like, you can see it was light blue to match the colors for this, so I appreciate they at least programmed that in. I'm wondering if that's the reason, like, because they had to have the colors match, that's why they couldn't fit an extra sound in there. Maybe the circuit board doesn't have enough to store all that information. I don't know. I'm trying to make excuses for them, because otherwise it's kind of lame. Uh, we'll do the blue configuration for Red King. So it says the name has some decent uh, roar sounds, and I do like the colors associated with it, but. Not a ton of functionality for the monster crystals, but they look great. I love them aesthetically. I love the color scheme. Love the picture inside. Very cool from that respect. Next up, we will do Ultraman Leo. We'll do the Rosso configuration. So you get kind of a beam sound. I mean, even if it just said the name of his attack, I feel like that would be enough for me, but... Okay. 
It just has that same attack sound. It's kind of a bummer. So we'll take a look at the blue, even though it will not be the same. I'm sorry, it will not be different. It will be the same. But you can see now it says blue instead, so... But her nose Leo is red. So, same attack sounds. While I appreciate the attack sounds and I appreciate it saying the name of the Ultraman, just like the name of his attack when you do that second one, that would have been all you really needed. I think that's as much as the capsules did for Jeed. But again, crystals look neat. So now we'll take a look at X because this will be the most exciting one in the pack. Love that green. Love the picture of X. Very, very cool. So you actually get a little snippet of like the background music for X, very similar to how the G primitive crystal was. I'm wondering if it's just something like with the more recent uh, Ultraman. I don't know if they're more popular or they're just the music files are on hand. I don't really know, but it seems like they seem to favor the newer uh, Ultraman and to give them a little bit more sound effects. So, just the same music riff again. And blue will be the same, but just to illustrate the point. But you do get different colors in the strobe light because it knows it's blue as opposed to Rosso. <laughs> so you pick your favorite strobe light and go with that one. But yeah, so that's it for the Rube Gyro. Uh, X is obviously the clear winner as far as sound effects go. But I will say that I think all four of them look really cool. I love the color schemes on these. I like the pictures inside. I think the crystals themselves are fun. I just wish they got a little bit more soundage out of these guys but let's go ahead and check out x with the rube slugger these three are all just going to say rube slugger attack so i'm not even going to bother with them but we will check out x all right so we got the slugger here with the rosso configuration go ahead and pop it on you can see the blade turns green So there is the Rosso attack sound for X. Let's go ahead and check out the blue one. We'll go ahead and put this into the blue configuration. There we go. There you go. I do appreciate that when it is one of the ones that they have it programmed in for that you do get a different sound with both the Rosso and Blue configurations. So X is one of the like six or seven crystals that actually gets new sounds out of this thing. So very cool. Enjoy the functionality that this one has with the Rube Sluggers. So at the end of the day, another decent set. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I really have a love-hate relationship with these crystals. I kind of keep going back and forth on them. I really do like them aesthetically. I think they look neat. I like the gimmick. I like that it has the two forms. I think the color schemes, the pictures inside all look really cool. The ones that do have like a decent amount of functionality, in this case X, I like them a lot. They has functionality with the Rube Slugger, with the Rube Gyro. You get that really nice uh, music riff from X, which is fun to hear again after a couple years. So I like that a lot. I just wish the other ones had just a fraction more. The Kaiju ones I can understand. The Kaiju ones never really have that much functionality. And I would say that the Kaiju crystals have about as much functionality as the Kaiju capsules did in Jeed, with the exception of the combination aspect. Obviously, there's no combination aspect here because you can only use one crystal at a time. So in Jeed, you did have the ability to have some Kaijus merged together, uh, as it was seen in the show. And that was really cool. But if you just had the individual Kaiju that couldn't merge, I would say these have the same functionality as that. With the Ultraman, all I'm really looking for is like the name of an attack when you do the second pull. Um... You know, you get the beam sound and that's okay, but just like one more sound per crystal would have been perfect. And I'm really wondering if, because when you put the crystal in and it reads it, the gyro knows which color to use to match the crystal. And I'm wondering if that took the space of the second sound. But then again, the Jeed had different light ups in the LED as well. I know I'm not... I'm not stating this eloquently. But in any case, I'm wondering why that extra sound effect is missing and I'm kind of bummed by it, but... You can only speculate at this point. So it's really going to be up to you. Your mileage is going to vary for these crystals. I'm probably going to keep buying them. Like I said, if there's a couple hard to chase down, you know, Gashapon ones probably won't get 100% completion on the crystals for the whole run of the show. But the ones that I can get easily, like these retail releases and any kind of candy toy ones I can just grab at HLJ or something like that, I'll probably continue to do. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions on these. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.